Let's review Math, Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 6, Order and Operations with Fractions, Topic A, Decomposition and Fraction Equivalents. Alright, so we're going to use an area model this time to show that 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. So since I have fourths here, if I draw one line across, that's going to double my fourths and make them eighths. So 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. That's what my area model shows. Let's do some addition sentences to show that equivalence. 3 fourths, that's what I had before, is equal to 1 eighth plus 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 1 eighth which is equal to 6 eighths. Let's look at it this way. 3 fourths is equal to 3 times 2 eighths. So I have 2 eighths here, I have 2 eighths here, and I have 2 eighths here. So that's 3 times I have 2 eighths. Or I could say that I have 6 times 1 eighth. I have 1 eighth, 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times. I have 6 times 1 eighth. And that all of those are equal to 6 eighths. This area model shows 2 thirds. What I want to do is I want to show that 2 thirds is equal to 8 twelfths by breaking this area model up. So let's see. If I turn my thirds into twelfths by drawing these lines, then I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts. And 8 of those parts are shaded. And there's different ways we could write this as an addition and multiplication sentence. I could do this one, that 2 thirds is equal to 4 twelfths, which is what this side is, plus 4 more twelfths. I could also see that 2 thirds could be equal to 8 times 1 twelfth, because I have 1 twelfth, which is this size right here, I have this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So 2 thirds is equal to 8 twelfths, which is also equal to 8 times 1 twelfth. And I can even write it this way if I wanted to. That 2 thirds is equal to 4 times 1 twelfth, which is this side plus this part, 4 times 1 twelfth. All right, that's going to take care of things for Lesson 6, where we've been working to decompose fractions using area models to show equivalents.